a YouTube than here. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for 1,000 subs. And um, comment below on what you would like in return, like uh, an intro template or a uh, tutorial on how I made one of my intros or something. Uh, but this is the first installment of like uh, I would say like a step by step giving you the essentials of how to create a professional kind of like intro and um, in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on lighting and reflections so uh, let's get started and as you can see in this uh, project uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but there's like a depth of field so there's blur in this at the front areas and uh, at the back of further farther areas there's um, uh, less blur so more focus and it's a lot sharper so and you can see they've got uh, shadows and obviously the reflections here and um, okay let's get started in a new composition or project okay first of all uh, you want to change your render settings so click on that output film and video HDTV 720 um, 1280 by 720 so I'll be alright that's HD um, so first of all let's create a floor and also a background whoops not sun <laughs> and basically there's a fine line here between the floor and the background and you'll also see this even when we create a new material by double clicking and uh, just create a white material I assume and drag the material onto the floor and control copy to, that, to the background and click on render and as you can see same as before so to create um, a seamless background a background that seamlessly goes on, on into infinity uh, is by clicking on the material on the actual object go into cu not cubic sorry click on the object go to cinema 4d compositing and seen by uh, compositing background and do the same with the other material as well the other object so I'm getting confused now and basically you should see a plain white canvas as such so the next thing we're going to do is create a text object you can do this two ways through MoGraph by creating a text like so or you can do it by going to the spline section go to text and extrude it which is what I'm going to do and to extrude it drag the text into the extrude nerves there we go uh, go to extrude nerves and extrude it maybe to something about 60 that should do it and I'm gonna change the font to angular I don't know what more it is and also as you can see the sharp edges so just get rid of them go to cap fill it cap fillet cap um, on both ends steps 20 I guess 20 should do 20 on the other side and render that next thing we're gonna do is create some lighting so go to a light go to array drag the light into the array and go to the array hit the scale tool and make it bigger then drag the array up and I'll say yeah that'll do and then lower the brightness of the all the intensity intensity of the light yeah that should do it so the next thing we're gonna do is go to render settings and to add a more realistic feel we could use global illumination but that takes a, a long 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 time to render as you can see well, we don't really see much at the moment. I think the lights are too bright. Re-render that. Yeah. For some reason, we don't have any shadow. In. Just one second. Redo that again. Strange. Um, well, the best thing for shadowing is ambient occlusion, but you could also do it through the light by going into shadow, shadow map, soft, 
or ray traced hard, depending on what you want, as you can see here. Let's render it again there. Um, sorry about that. Uh, as you can see here, the shadows tend to, because there's multiple lights, the shadows just, you know, go in different directions and it depends if it's what you want then sure but for this for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to use it I'm going to go to render settings and then ambient occlusion and that creates shadows but um, the reason why global illumination didn't work was because we need to create a sky and something to illuminate the whole scene so double click create new material as well go to uncheck colour and specular and create a new sky and the next thing we're going to do is add a HDRI image a HDRI image basically uh, gives the whole scene its reflections so if you don't have any HDRI images go and press shift 8 on your keyboard and go to cinema 4d and then go to materials and then HDRI and some you know presets in it but I would recommend buying uh, Grayscale Gorillas uh, HDRI pack so go to the material you created and if you do have any of his uh, Grayscale Gorilla HDRIs just load it through the luminance channel uh, find mine drag it onto your sky uh, click on the uh, HDRI you've dragged make it cubic and go onto the object of the sky, cinema 4D tags, compositing, scene by camera, off. And now once we do the global illumination, we should have shadowing. But like I say, it's, you know, there you see, shadows. But it's, it, it's not really worth it for what you're going for. Depends what scene, if your scene is meant to be ultra realistic, then sure. But in this case, we don't need it. So I just add an ambient occlusion create put it ramp it up to about 30% in contrast and there you go you've got your basic scene with shadowing and you've got a light and for depth of field create a new camera I tend to increase the field of view to about 80 use whatever you want though and then go into depth front blur press F2 and just change the focal point of uh, the camera so you just drag the middle it should be 3 I'll zoom in middle one there I'm gonna drag that and I drag that to the point of which once you want it to be blurred so I'll drag that Let's see here around there so if we render this out this area should be blurred and the rest should be focused oh wait I need to, of course we need to uh, go to effect and look on depth of field enable it and like I say this side should be blurred you can't really see it that much but I'll increase the depth of field now by increasing the field of view and focal point There we go, you can see a blur there, focused on that area. And this will be good if you add a material to the text, and if you're making a professional in intro where the camera moves along, and it just makes it all that much better and uh, realistic. So I'm going to delete the camera, zoom out, and now we're going to focus on the lighting uh, reflection part since we've done the lighting. I'm going to delete the floor and the background. So now we've just got a plain text. Um, what we're going to do now is double click and create new material, reflection, texture, fresnel, douse it down a bit and then drag this material to the object, text object. Make it cubic and seamless just in case you have a texture. And there we go, we can see the reflections which are cast by this HDRI image. And if you don't have any HDRI images, 
uh, create a sky anyway for the illumination of the scene and the light setup and then create a plane uh, rotate it up whoops upwards so it's vertical 90 degrees and move it backwards make it shorter on the, Z, uh, the x axis make it longer on the y axis and then move it across scale it up and let's say I'll rotate it about 45 degrees and just move it around the uh, I'll con move it around the text basically I'm gonna control hold control and drag the plane to create a new one just move it up across and so on Move this one across as well. Let's keep right, uh, and then I'll hold Shift, click onto the top plane, and Control drag all three of them. Rotate these negative 45 degrees roughly, and then move that to the opposite side. Then Control click again, move this one to the front. Rotate. You can basically use any kind of like plane setup you want but I'm just using this for example and basically what's going to happen is in the scene the planes are going to reflect uh, no the text is going to reflect the planes that you see in the scene so if you render it you should see these things are just in the way so create a new material uncheck color and specular check luminance drag the luminance into all the planes by control dragging to all of them and shift click down all the planes right click cinema 4d tags compositing and scene by camera uncheck that but as you can see the planes obstruct us from our workflow so to get rid of them to click the top dot and double click each one for each plane and these just get rid of them in your scene then you can see your text layers. If we render this, you can see the reflections in our back. And they look pretty decent. They don't look too bad. Well this is one way of doing it. But if you combine the two with the HDRI and the sky, just uh, do this now. Do this now. Uh, there we go. You can see the uh, text looks really, really nice. It's got really good reflections there. And if you want to make those, uh, if you've seen those Call of Duty, most Call of Duty intros tend to have all the same style. Um, if you want to make one of those kind of intros, uh, what you need to do is create a plane above the text and below the text and go to the luminance or create a new material make it luminant material again and just ramp the brightness up to a thousand then copy the luminance material onto the planes do the same again right click uh, cinema 4d tags compositing make sure it's seen by, not seen by the camera and just render that as you can see, we've got this nice, like, brightness effect across here. Make sure the planes uh, on the x-axis are much bigger than the actual objects you try and make like that. And this is the kind of effect we saw and I've seen anyway in GGFX's intros. And I would say it's a nice effect, but it's overused, so I wouldn't recommend this for, uh, like, an intro where everything's got a ton of optical flares and comes in bangs in or something like that with a ton of video call palette sounds come on it's you know it's not original you just got to uh, experiment really and uh, well thanks for watching my first tutorial for Cinema 4D and see you later